Speaker, it's unbelievable to watch this Prime Minister refuse to acknowledge that his arrogant and self-righteous comments are an insult to tens of thousands of Canadians who work in construction in our communities across the country. He sits on his high horse and with innuendo and stereotype throws stones at these good men and women. Mr. Speaker, I want to invite the Prime Minister to apologize. Will he stand in his place, do the right thing, and apologize to construction workers across the country? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Once again, the divisive rhetoric and attacks from the Conservatives serve to undermine the important work that is being done in communities right across this country uh, to strengthen our resilience, to support everyone, and to make sure that everyone has safe work environments and a uh, positive path to walk on and to live. These are the kinds of things we're going to continue working on, uh, and we are going to continue to recognize uh, the hard work that continues to need to do to make sure that every Canadian uh, can contribute to building a stronger economy. Honourable Opposition House Leader. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister's statement was a clear attack on some of the hardest working Canadian and dedica working dedicated Canadians. So for the Prime Minister to, to directly attack these men and insinuate that they are dangerous to women in rural communities is unconscionable and diminishes the high office that he holds. Not to mention people in Groping glass houses should not throw stones. So, again, will the Prime Minister stand and apologize for what he said? Oh, to the the right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we take very seriously the responsibility of creating safe workplaces, uh, of supporting uh, all people in communities to ensure that they have uh, opportunities to contribute, opportunities to find good jobs, opportunities uh, to grow their, their communities in safety and security. That is something we are going to continue to focus on. I will take no lessons from the Conservative Party on how to build safer, more inclusive communities.